What's a good tip for a business owner who are trying to get out of operating at a loss? Make more money. <laughs> <laughs> ChatGPT told me this. Is it true? <laughs> like, well, if you believe ChatGPT, why don't you just go with it? Dolphin it's like hard as. Oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's... Okay, Z. Here. Clap. Shout out to you. I clapped one. The text law is always open to interpretation. Right. <laughs> and you're going. Oh, is that all we got in the bank account? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Tipsy Tuesday. Andrea here from Iceberg Media. Um, tonight, we have an interesting and amazing guest. One of my favorite people, Jay from Assure Alliance. He's gonna talk to us more about tax and accounting and we're going to make it sexy. There you go. <laughs> Don't walk away, just keep, keep watching. Hey guys, welcome to Tipsy Tuesday where we sit down with people from all walks of life to ask for insider tips as we enjoy their favorite drink. Today we have, or this evening, mm -hmm. we have Jay from Assure Alliance. Thank you, thank you for having me. <laughs> Alright, Jay, you're an accountant. Yes, I am. Yeah. And um, why, why accounting? Why accounting? Yeah. Um, I think I, I have a knack with numbers. Um, I find that numbers, you know, I see poetry in numbers. Um, so I do, <laughs> I do feel like sometimes when I look at numbers and it's not right, I have a knack for, you know, looking at patterns and making sure they, they look right. You know, I enjoy it. I enjoy looking at it uh, most days. Most days. Most days. Yeah. <laughs> we'll but ask more about that. Yeah, days some days there. you just go one zero one zero, then that's it. Oh, um, wow. That's when you're not, okay, I've had enough, I need to go for a walk. I feel <laughs> like I'm always one zero one zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that for uh, a lot of people, and mm -hmm. I think it's my job to sort of help know, them out. Yeah. Help them out, yeah, yeah. And, and just go, okay, look, don't look at it, this is what it's saying. Yeah. yeah so. All right, so for those who haven't watched our first episode, <laughs> first chaotic episode <laughs> we actually will create the drink in here and so today's awesome. or tonight's drink of choice is mojito yes okay just a quick disclaimer i am not a bartender i don't know if jay is no yeah, I'm like, not no idea what um so i think i'm going to be doing like a simple version of a mojito cool um cool. but also just quick like backstory jay's favorite drink was actually whiskey sour as well and that's something that we actually did last episode and it was quite chaotic so i was like do you have a second favorite drink <laughs> <laughs> because that was really yeah. like okay. i had to like shake so much and like made so much mess but this one's a little bit more easy more structured yeah more structured yeah i'm not gonna go through the it like the ingredients because i believe it's gonna be up on the screen but as i make it now mm, jay yeah. why why is your second favorite drink a mojito um i guess mojito has that tropical flavor to it um you know tropical. it makes me it makes me think of Mint. friends it makes me think of relaxation so i'd like you to make the drink and while we talk tax i guess or talk oh, numbers man, tax. <laughs> Hopefully it'll help me out. I tried yeah. and tested the drink with my business partner and one of my um, team members. Sure. And I was like, no, I was like having to add like <laughs> numbers. I'm excited though. Because yeah. it says 45 mils and I was like, oh, 30 plus 15 is <laughs> 40, 45. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I think I think we're good with that. Mm. How, do you like a lot of mint? I feel like it no, has no, to be a I, lot of mint. I, th I, think, I think that's enough. Okay. <laughs> just, right. just like, just I saying. Have a, I have a recipe here, so like it says, okay, it says handful. That's not handful. That was like two handfuls. Okay, uh, all right. <laughs> just, I feel just like keep Mormon going. is good. I feel like Mormon is good. I was told to clap. Okay, Z, here, clap. shout out to you. I clapped one. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do when you Apparently clap onto you, it? You, you it, smell it smells middle, better. I don't know. Like it gives it more kick. What, 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 do you, what do you think? What do you think? I don't know. I feel like it it gets the it gets the smell. 
out or some of the eggs. Yeah, for sure. Yes, minty. Hands. Yeah, minty fresh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what else know, is in there? Like, what was that? What else is in there? It's a uh, 45 mils of white rum. So I don't know. People keep asking me. I, I'm pretty sure you thought it was tequila first. Yeah, I thought it was. was so it? I've I've researched and it's always rum. Oh shoot. Yeah. Okay, so like bad. I don't know. So I was nice. like I've done. Um, I don't know. Like this is just research. But I've seen Somewhere. different versions. That's 45. This is 30. Okay. It's like two ounces. Yeah, just, I learned just that. hammer it. Yeah. And then this is. I can have a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. And you can have a bit more too. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, that was all yeah, me actually. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Making a mess. Cool. There you go. Good start. I'm using Bacardi. Yeah. Yeah. Good start. Good so, start. I, I don't know. Like I haven't really like do you, tried do you, Bacardi. Do you like before. mojitos? Yes. Yeah. But I felt like they had like more of a like a coconut essence to it as well so i don't i don't know oh, do you have coconut essence no but i'm not a big fan of coconut <laughs> so i'm glad it didn't <laughs> <laughs> had lime juice 25 mils okay so oh. this one is an estimate all right because cool. there's no 25 mils in these so you just yeah estimate like well, you don't do estimates in accounting don't you oh we do estimates all the time oh really yeah oh is it more for like forecasting yeah absolutely What's um, your most favorite, um, like, story at work or like success story at work? We come across a lot of people in all types of trades, uh -huh. and then one of them that does stand out is we we met a client. He just you know came through our office, barged through the doors, and goes, oh. "I need help." Oh and wow! And we're going, "Oh okay, no worries. Uh, do you have an appointment? No. Like, no. Oh really? No, I don't have an appointment, but I need to I need to see someone." And little did I know, he did meet Eureka in a other occasion. Yep. And fast forward to now, um, you know, we helped him start start up a business uh, in a staffing agency. Oh, and cool. he has a real knack for people management. Okay. And uh, he's successfully registered a business as an NDIS provider. And yeah, we help him out with ATO compliance. In the in the oh, IS compliance with ASIC, that's all the, you know, forefathers of that's compliance. That's so good. And um, yeah, he he started his first year with a million bucks worth of turnover. Wow! First. First, first year, year. First year. You need staff. We charge them up this per hour. Alrighty, yeah, like a recruitment stuff. agency kind of. Oh no, provides the staff for for the people. Yeah, for assisted living. Right. And now he's in year two, and he's just clocked over four million, wow. and projected to be about four point five million. Well, what's his starting capital? Can like, am I allowed to know? Maybe ten grand just for oh compliance. Oh my gosh! And it's crazy. He's grown so much. We're so happy for him. He's such a down-to-earth person. Incredible work ethic. Um, I think all this just spawned from COVID times as well. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. There you yeah, go. Looks good. Cheers. Mm. Um, so yeah, just continuing that story. This is bad. Is it not bad? It's good. <laughs> it's so good. Like. It's unbelievable. Um, hats off to him. He did most of the work. That's um, so we, good. we just helped him out. Um, he just didn't know how to navigate his way around tax. He didn't know what GST was. He I didn't know. He didn't know Who insurance. Knows what GST yeah, is. he didn't know insurance stuff, risk management stuff. He didn't know any of that, and mm. we just guided him through it. And then he, the good thing about him was he had such a strong team behind him. Mm. Everyone just wanted him to succeed. I think it just comes down to him being a good person. Mm -hmm. His work ethic is incredible. Mm. Like whenever we, we give him something, he does it like that. Wow. It's like incredible. So he's very great to work with. He does listen to most of the things we say. That's good. Uh, most, most of the things. <laughs> All credit to him. He's doing great. Um, that's so that's good. That's the biggest success story. He's one of our biggest clients in our venture at the moment. That's that's amazing. Yeah, amazing. That's amazing. Great success. I think he has ambitions to also go home to his hometown in Kenya to build schools for nurses, oh. to train nurses. And I'm going, wow. 
is giving back. To yeah, so he's giving back. He's not. He's not. He. he I, I think it's he. He can't fathom that he's done four million in turnover. That's so good. Yeah, he's just. It's just incredible. Incredible but story. Like, yeah. The, the fact that he was not afraid to ask for help that's also a massive plus and kudos to his um yeah. his personality as well right like it's so Absolutely. hard to for a lot of business owners it's mm. so hard to admit that mm. you're doing it wrong yeah like especially when your business is your baby so like that's one of the biggest hurdles for people like mm. a lot of business owners or entrepreneurs to admit to at least themselves that like you know what maybe i actually am not i don't know what i'm doing i should probably get help yeah, yeah. i think things evolve so quickly as well it's like mm. sometimes you've done it a certain way for say five years but mm. then covid hits and you yeah. gotta change the way you do things that's right. And you just need that extra help of going, okay, I don't have the time for this. I have to evolve my business. Yeah. And I've got to, you know, outsource my help from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And then that way I can properly change my business into such a way that it makes money or it's, how do you say, evolving or making sure that it adapts to the current situation. Right. So yeah, definitely. What do you think? What, um, what do you think as a business owner, Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm asking it's you. Interview now. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> As a business owner, what did you? What was the biggest thing you had to adapt to? Um, adapt to. Mm. Well, COVID. When you mentioned COVID, it's actually one of like a biggest turning points to our our business as well, because with with Iceberg Media, it used to be very heavily we cater for very uh, a lot of events mm, and yeah. weddings z and i um that's our pretty much bread and butter that was where we we met that's how that's that kind of industry that we we navigate for and then when covid hit we saw the most one of the most busiest months that we have which is march go from extremely busy mm. to empty like we get yeah. we get like event, canceled events here and there and i'm seeing like every single time like oh sorry like because of the lockdown we can't go and yeah. go ahead and push through with this okay. and so like z and i were like sitting and like having like a zoom chat and we're like well, what do we do yeah it's <laughs> so, tough hey? yeah so we kind it's of tough. like we took that time it was a good time to have a break but at the same time we actually did a shoot during covid yeah and we were like you know we, we should like start rewiring our business the same as what your uh, your client did we kind of like rewired our business to cater more for the corporate um yeah. industry because i feel like we can put a lot of our skill set in use to help this a lot of businesses up when it comes to their marketing through through photos and videos yeah and so that's how we 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 changed it up a bit we yeah. still do weddings um and we put it on a sub brand um, which is separate now from iceberg, iceberg media pretty much mm. um, to make it a lot easier for our marketing but like now we really kind of we're trying to fine tune our corporate services so that way it makes it a lot easier to help help yeah. them out. so from just that paragraph there yeah it's just incredible how much you have to consider mm. what you have to actually action yeah and all that how would you even think about tax or your yeah, numbers exactly <laughs> <laughs> oh you my know, gosh just 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 little things like that mm. i mean like there's so much, so many moving parts in a business that, like, how would you even think about? Oh, what do I owe the tax office? Oh. We had like we had a time where we were like, oh my gosh, so many things happened, and then bang, we need to pay this much amount of tax. Mm. And uh, I remember you were trying to like uh, you and like Atiri were trying to get us like yeah. a lot of help to try and just you know <laughs> just navigate just a visually that situation as well. Yeah, visually see it. It's like. Oh, it's and then so you're going, funny. and you're going. Oh, is that all we got in the bank account? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so funny because um, I have a funny story about tax with me and Z and like um, someone from our team as well. Mm. So like one of our team also, mm. uh, like obviously like did her tax, like mm. you know personal tax and everything. And she was like, she walked out. Uh, she walked in to the room and like she was like really kind of like grumpy. And she's like, do you know how much I paid for tax? <laughs> and then she was like. 600 bucks <laughs> and then she walked up to the room yeah. like you know to start her work and z and i were like i want to pay 600 bucks <laughs> for tax it's all relative right it <laughs> yeah, depends yeah. how much you earn and, i guess you know, it's, just, it's just so much yeah. um, like, i'm like oh well 
<laughs> yeah, I wish I, I had a $600 bill most days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I think that's pretty good. I mean, having high tax also means that it, you're, you're earning made quite the money. a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. If yeah, I'm, I'm definitely like, I think I always encourage my clients to be optimistic about tax. Because mm. if, if you've paid a great deal of tax, you've made a great deal of money somewhere. Exactly. Yeah, you've just, it's just after the fact and you've, you've already used up the money. And now you're in a place where, oh, I've got a tax bill, I'm going to yeah. pay it. Um, that's our job, to, yeah. to, to communicate that to you. Yeah. You've made money here, you've used the money for this, mm -hmm. and this is all you've got left, and this is your tax bill. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. I think if we rewire the thinking about tax, right? Like if we rewire it yeah. to your business or your income is high. Yeah. Um, it's just navigating on like, how can I best save from it then? Like, yeah. right? Is that, is that a right way of thinking? Like, how Absolutely. can I best save from it? I so that way I can make sure that whatever I'm paying um, doesn't feel like it's just bang, here's yeah. my money. It's more of like, I know for a fact that this is a fair trade. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, like, there's always a negative narrative when it comes to the tax world and calculating your tax. But flip that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you've got to have a hard look at yourself and go, what did I spend the money on? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because a lot of us are not honest with ourselves and just says, oh, the tax office just takes my money. But really, you've earned the money, you've spent it somewhere else. And we're only talking about this after the fact because it's always right. a historical thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going, mm. Mm. <laughs> I actually have one more question before the tip. Okay. What's the most common misconception about your field of expertise? Because I feel like that's a really cool uh, question. So apparently accountants are good at math. I'm, I'm pretty bad, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I, was like, I was just kind of like insinuating like, you know, addition and everything like yeah. that, but no. Uh, I mean, like we're in a digital age right now. Um, so most things, uh, you insert it into a box and they calculate certain things for you or you oh have God, a calculator. Excel spreadsheets. Yeah, Excel spreadsheets and calculators. Um, I think that's a common misconception. Growing up, I was not bad at it. Right, but compared to the ad math type people that I was around, apparently I was crap at math. Oh wow! So you know, I know my basics, but you know, I'm not gonna say I'm fantastic. At it. It's fair to say, like accounting is more like about finding the patterns and like understanding. Yeah, I think the I think the sexy way to describe oh. accounting, <laughs> the sexy way to describe <laughs> accounting is nowadays it's about communicating your position. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's about position. Yeah, un understanding. Look, let's be more proactive about your tax. Let's be more proactive about your numbers, and go. Okay, this is your goal. Where are you at? Let's bridge the gap. That's it. Right. Yeah. So right, that's right, right. the sexy way of describing accounting. Yeah. The non-sexy way is, you know, people always say, "Oh, yeah, stuck in the back room crunching numbers." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so another misconception is that we just track the numbers mm -hmm. and we only worry about taxes when when we crunch the numbers yeah 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 yep, yep. yep. so that's another misconception where i don't want to be that kind of accountant mm -hmm. where i just go okay andrea i'll see you once a year yeah yep, this yep. is your tax bill see you later right so i want to be want more relationship building type of correct yeah. so you just need to be more engaged mm -hmm. just go andrea look what do you want to achieve in the next 12 months yeah. Yeah. How do you feel of what you've done in the last Four million. <laughs> Four million turnovers. <laughs> Man, I, I'd be killing for a million. Oh Who do I have to God. kill to get a million? <laughs> oh, I need that guy's secret. Yeah. So, so yeah, those are the two main misconceptions where we just keep track of numbers mm -hmm. and just, you know, calculate your taxes. Mm -hmm. And the second one is, you know, we're all not very sexy and we're just bean counters and backdoor crunches that kind right. of thing yeah. right yeah right right There's some common ones cool yeah that's cool i like that yeah. all right tip time tip all right time. tip time are you feeling tipsy <laughs> this is yeah good. a couple of gulps yeah. <laughs> all right so what's a good tip to help save more from tax on a personal um like level so like if you don't own a business if you are an employee of a company mm. or something like that what's a good tip to help save more yeah, so, so you'll find as you earn more money, mm -hmm. right? You'll find that, okay, my tax bill gets substantial. Mm -hmm. um, a common tip that I would give people is have three accounts. 
Okay. So if I look in the, you know, I think about it in my head, I have one account where all my pay goes into. Mm -hmm. Second account is what I spend, what yeah. I can freely spend. So mm -hmm. I'll budget, I don't know, a thousand dollars worth of expenses and spend all that. Mm -hmm. So, and a third account would be savings, and that right. would be your tax, trips to Europe, whatever, oh, okay. expensive car, whatever. Mm -hmm. But tax is always the number one thing, mm -hmm. right? As a sole trader, business yep, owner, yep, yep. whatsoever. So it's the same in business, mm -hmm. always income, expense, saver, yep. always. This is the main tip I give for business owners and personal individuals alike, mm -hmm. is because a technically, if you're a sole trader, freelance, contractor, whatever, you should get paid almost every day, or you should know when the money's coming in, in this yep. one account, and right, you quote right. this number out. Mm -hmm. The reason you have an expense account is because psychologically you put away a thousand and if you've spent all that before the end of the month, you've overspent. <laughs> <laughs> and it will get you psychologically triggered in, in such a way that, okay, I need to tap into my income again. Mm -hmm. I've actually spent two thousand. Wow. Okay. Right. Right. Now the third account is savings for tax or a trip to Europe or you know expensive car you're always going to put something away okay and be more structured mm -hmm. so just that tip being more structured with your money mm -hmm. is probably a good starting point for most people right so have yeah. you um have you heard of like barefoot investor yeah so have you read it yeah that one? much like him like uh, what's mm. your what's your thoughts about it do you like, do you agree with most of it or do you, do you not agree with some of them? Um, I'm, I'm gearing away from like some of the questions I gave you, <laughs> like I know. Um, I think some people need that structure. Yep. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, if You if, think it's too regimented, too, too much? Yeah. All right. Because the reason I say that is because in my situation, I want every, every cent I earn, I want it to be working for me. Right, okay. Yeah. So if I, I give this to people because they're just starting out yep. in business or starting out as a freelance contractor or whatsoever, mm -hmm. it's just to give them a bit of structure and discipline. Uh, but for me, I don't follow that. Okay. Yeah. Controversial, right? Yeah. Oh, he gives this advice, oh. but he doesn't actually do it. The reason I don't do that is because every time I get paid, right, I, I do have an expense account. Yep. But every time I get paid and I got extra money, I invest it in something. Oh, okay. And in this case, even like yourself, mm -hmm. it would be strong. It would be whatever extra money is in iceberg. Right. Well, for me, it's in in my accounting firm, Assure right. Alliance. Right. Okay. So any extra money I have, I go in there straight away, right, so right, that right. it can generate even more money. Right. So like kind of passive income, kind of Correct. almost. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I'll put enough money away in Assure Alliance to make sure we can afford the next person. More right. butts on the seat. You will get to a point where. It creates enough income for you to go. Okay, now I want to save for my trip to Europe. Oh, cool! <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about that like yeah. in that way. Yeah. that's that's so good. But to start up, most people need to start with these three accounts first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and it's just to develop that muscle and also to develop that habit, right? Yeah, like, develop like that. Ha I have that the habit. Automatic thinking of like, yeah. oh, you know what? Like, I need to take this, put this away for the expense side, yeah. so saving side. As a family man, I know my budget per month is about five thousand. Wow. Right. Okay. I've got two kids, wife. Make sure everyone's fed. Make sure everything's paid. Mm -hmm. Electricity, gymnastics classes. <laughs> you know. Yes. They're you, important. Yeah, they're important. Ice skating. <laughs> <laughs> Ice skating for yeah. yourself. And I, I just know, 5000 Yep. So I put 5000 away every month in that expense account. Mm -hmm. And if I've overspent mm. or if my credit card bill's gone over, mm -hmm. whatever I spent. And then you kind of like, you analyze that. Yeah, and then you evaluate yourself and you go, okay, that means you've, you're you going to miss this next next month. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Makes so that's that's, that's the do you number one tip. Because yeah. my next question is more um, on a business per se, like how to s to like save more uh, on the tax, like maximize the tax savings for business. Do you have like a similar um, answer, or is there some sort of difference when you're looking at more of a business sense? So in a business sense, entrepreneurs, business owners alike, what they do is they always focus on. If there's too much money in their business bank account, they always go, okay, that's a bad sign. 
Too much money. Too much money. Ah. If you've got, say, a hundred grand in your business account, yeah, right, and you've painstakingly saved that, and you've paid all your taxes, you still have a hundred grand. That means that's dangerous. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know why? Because a hundred grand is sitting there; it's not being reinvested into your business to generate more income. Right. So one of the things we do do is forecast and do cash flow forecasting for you,、uh-huh. and go, okay, you've got this amount of money, but you must always have a plan for that money、right. before you have it. Okay. That way you can reinvest it. Otherwise, take it out there and pay it to yourself. Oh, okay. And the second reason for that is is because the fact that the money is in there is actually more prone to risk if you get sued, and they can、oh, access、okay. that money. At that point, right. So it's just one of those little things that you, not not a lot of people think about. They、mm-hmm. just think, oh, I have heaps of money. I have a million bucks in my business account, and they think that's a good thing. So I have a question, and、sure. it's not、um, within the questions I've sent you.、Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Some. Do I need to have a swing? No, no. So some business structures they have、um, like very similar to like you know for for iceberg. Z and I、um, are in a partnership, right? Some business structures they do like their salaries via dividends, and some business structures have like an actual they pay themselves a salary. Correct. What do you recommend, or what do you think is better? So at that point, you you do need to consult someone because、yeah. everyone's tax position is different. Right. Yeah. So to get the best possible tax outcome, you need to consider. What assets you've got? What、right. other income streams you have? So it's always good to consult a professional that has a tailored solution for you. Okay, right. So、yeah. it's a case-to-case basis. Correct, correct. So, and is that something that is decided at the start of like when you're creating the business, like when you're starting the business up, or can it be changed if you find that the, a better solution is? Absolutely. You know, all right. So the way directors come together、mm-hmm. and create a new company. Yeah.、Um, is they have to agree on a remuneration at the start. Yeah. Normally, right? Right, right, right. As things evolve, as more money comes through the company,、mm-hmm. as、uh, more people are involved in the payroll. Yeah. Things will evolve in such a way that okay, you know, I think it's I'm more comfortable being paid this much at this time with this frequency. Potential new setups can、yeah. be like made in terms of contracts and everything like that, right? Correct. So、right. it's a different strategy. It's a tailored solution. They give into the hands of an expert、mm-hmm. to, to talk about because they know your situation best. And when you say expert, is just is that only like just accounting experts, or like do like business owners or directors need to involve other ex,、uh, experts in their fields, like financial planners or lawyers、mm-hmm. or something like that? Or you can engage most likely a, an accountant、mm-hmm. or or a tax lawyer even. Oh, there's a tax lawyer. Yeah, there's a tax lawyer as well. They're a bit different to us. They're a, bit, a different breed. Oh, okay. I've never, I've <laughs>、um, never heard of them. Like there's such. Yeah, they 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 specialize more in structuring. You know, they remuneration, the way you get remunerated,、mm. so that you get best possible tax outcome. But they they work in tandem with us sometimes.、Right. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can also consult a business coach. Just anyone with really a tax agent license, really. So、okay. they're more vetted. They they understand the tax environment. Right, right,、yeah. right, right. Interesting. What's a good tip that you can give to people who are thinking about starting their own business? When I started the business, I the last thing I thought about was accounting. Yeah. Just because I also like I'm absolutely despise. I'm sorry, but I just <laughs> I do not like accounting at all. <laughs> okay. But like, you know. Yeah, and that's what we're here for, just、mm. to help you out. The three things that I I do want to put out there. Is I think having that self awareness、mm. of what you like and dislike、mm-hmm. about your profession. So if,、oh. if you're not a numbers person, yeah, yeah, yeah you've got to you've got to go. Look, I'm gonna outsource that, or I'm gonna,、yeah. you know, delegate that to somebody else. It's so um, because I I understand. I can say that because I know for a fact that I did it. Um, when I was starting out as well,、mm. like it's so common to to take everything in because you're thinking I don't have that much capital or something like that.、Mm. But then, like throughout the years, I've come to realize how like how much time I've spent just trying to do something that I'm not like、mm. the most comfortable with.、Mm. Like, so part of that self awareness is also learning. 
Mm -hmm. So part of that self, if you're not very used to accounting terms or you didn't really pay much attention in uni or school or whatever about mm -hmm. accounting, I think it's important that you learn some of the basics. Right. So that when your accountant does talk to you or when, when someone or a lawyer speaks to you about law, mm -hmm. you do pick up the basics and you understand most of it. Right, okay. Yeah. So have a bit more like yeah. your your basic foundation of knowledge that you need. The mm -hmm. last one, which is probably the most important one, is understanding emotions. Wow, now, in okay, business, right. In business, a lot of people think, oh, it's about numbers, getting the job done. Oh my gosh. But, it, but it's, it's not just that. It's mm -hmm. about the emotion as well. Mm -hmm. Emotion covers anger, covers, you know, being Perfect. happy yep. and fulfilled mm -hmm. um, and having fun in the mm -hmm. process. Insecurities is something that you also want to kind of know, like just having a good grasp of like how people feel. Absolutely. Right? So as much as people don't want to admit it, being in business is emotional, right? There's ups right. and downs. Right. And we've got to be able to understand our emotions and understand how some people trigger us yeah and also understand positive triggers yeah we need to find those positive triggers and we need to find those negative triggers wow and be aware of that mm -hmm. and go okay this is the best possible thing i can do at this point in time with this emotion Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So I think that's so true. Yeah. That is that's definitely the number one thing I've learned being in business. There are certain things that happen in business that I feel very down about. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you close a big deal, you feel like, happy. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, feel exactly. amped, you feel invincible, yeah, you feel yeah, like yeah. let's go do another one. You know? Wow. So you've just gotta emo understand those emotions that will happen mm -hmm. and you gotta be able to manage those things. So I yeah. feel like that also having that understanding helps you also manage a team. When I started business, of exactly. like even my own emotions, I wouldn't like analyze or be aware of. And it's only when I started like learning it in in a in a corporate level, where and I had to do training about it. I have to to understand this profiles mm -hmm. or like how to talk to people with different types of personalities and how to get them to work That's with right. you. That's right. And and like when I've learned that and I've applied that to the business, it's like it just makes sense. It makes it a lot easier to work with people and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, hard as <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes, it's, it's so hard because you're having to navigate other people's emotions yeah. and your own emotions as well. Yeah. I remember like at one point I was like, oh my god, how the heck am I gonna do this? We have lots of conversations. Um, mm -hmm at the at the editing room anyways one of like deep ones as well my team yeah. likes to to talk deep but like one of the things that they are um they're one of the topics that like kind of like got to me was like oh, have you done a shoot where you're like so down mm. and i was like oh yeah mm. um i there was there were times where i actually would like have a massive breakdown, like cry, full on cry, like shout cry in my car just before I shoot. When it comes to art, it's just like part of you is in there. Yeah. So like having to try and get. Yeah. So yeah. I, I was a big, you know, I, I completely understand that. Mm -hmm. I was a part of a big corporate before I started here mm -hmm. and before starting my own business as well. And you've got to just like bury your emotion and get the job done. Yeah. And I think that's a misconception. I think we need to stop doing that, mm -hmm. um, especially business owners. You need yeah. to stop doing that because they'll just explode immediately one day. Yeah. Also, speaking of teams, mm -hmm. um, I have a tip for most business owners out there to say, look, if you have a daughter or a son, just imagine before you tell someone off or before you need to have a serious conversation with your team member, your business partner, whoever, your, mm -hmm. your client that's giving you a lot of grief. Imagine you're speaking to your, I have, I have a nine-year-old daughter, so I always imagine I'm speaking to my nine-year-old daughter about, yeah. about this and how this cannot continue. Right. So that way it dubs down yeah. the swear words, <laughs> <laughs> dubs down the, the anger, yes, dubs down right. everything because- It kind of grounds you kind of grounds you and you go the Mr. so-and-so or Mrs. so-and-so we cannot continue this engagement because of A, B and C mm -hmm. uh, these are the reasons why and yeah 
and, and speak to them in a very calm manner.、Mm. Yeah, find that someone who is who has your soft spot and and just imagine you're speaking to them. Wow. Yeah, that's the biggest tip I've got, and that's how I've survived、so、<laughs> and managed my emotions. No, that's so good. Cause like, no, like it's it's very hard when you start a business. You really there's so many things you think about, and、mm. and it's it's good to have some sort of guidance. And,、mm. and I can say that for myself because like.、Um, Like when I was starting out, I really don't know anything, and yeah. and yeah, just having that humility of like you know what, like I'm、um, I'm gonna get、um, advice. What's a good tip for a business owner who are trying to get out of operating at a loss? Make more money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.、Um, Jay, look, look, okay. Because it's like it's very it's very hard to admit for for someone, especially、mm. who's running a business,、um, to admit to themselves like you know what, like we're actually not. Making any money, sure. Like,、um, sure. And it, it's an emotional thing. And so, how how do you rise up from that? Okay. So, for, first and foremost, it, it sounds like you need help.、Mm. It, any business that's operating at a big loss or a loss that's costing them money per month、mm-hmm. or per week, you need to engage a professional, right. right, to help you trade out of that. Generally, they'll be thinking. I'm already operating a loss. Like I can't afford to get advice. Like, what what do you do? Like, do you? So in business,、mm-hmm. uh, one of the most important things about being in business、mm-hmm. is that you have a choice whether to engage with a client or not. Right. They could be the most beautiful client. They've got heaps of money in the bank account,、mm-hmm. but maybe because of something,、mm-hmm. we do not wish to engage with them. Right. So businesses always have the choice. Right. Whether to engage with them or not,、mm-hmm. even if you're operating at a loss,、mm-hmm. the accountant or the lawyer or the business coach or whoever、mm-hmm. has the choice to whether engage with you. The good ones usually take the risk. Right. Okay. So, so don't worry. I mean, like people who are operating at a loss aren't necessary. In, like it's all loss. Like oh, we gotta close up business.、Mm-hmm. Sometimes you've just gotta. Engage with your network.、Mm-hmm. Ask around.、Um, there will be professionals out there that will say, "Look, I can trade you out of this at this cost,、mm-hmm. and they're upfront about it." Right. And if you and if I don't, then there's no payment. There is such a thing. Wow. Okay. So that's such a such a good thing to know. Yeah. How many people would would think yeah, like that? Yeah, would know、right? that. Like people just say, "Oh, that's it. It's yeah, lost." Yeah, we have to like stop. Like yeah. Goodbye. But like other than that, like if we wanna, if we are trading at a small loss or、mm-hmm. a loss that's manageable、mm-hmm. to you, and you know the biggest tip would be get to it, speak to your accountant, and go look. I'm trading at a small loss. I don't know why. I need this to be communicated to me. And if you're not getting the feedback or engagement that you want,、mm-hmm. it is time to engage an accountant that's more, more catering like, to your yeah, needs. Yeah. So, you know, all all I say is, if you're in business, you cannot afford to not be engaged. Right. Because if COVID taught us anything, you have to be engaged. You gotta adapt. You gotta evolve. That's right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good. I'm learning so much. Yeah, okay. This is so good. Okay, good. good. Also, also,、oh, I, I don't want to waste your time. I know it's so good. It's no time waste. Like this is great. This is why I built this podcast. I think we just get along really well as well. Yeah. And like the fact that you, oh my god, the fact that you mentioned emotions too. No one would talk about like. And、yeah. I don't know. Like I've I've spoken to a few, like accountants. Well, I know as a year you guys very also like. Keen,、uh, like an advocate for like you know emotions, but、mm. like, you, like Eureka to, taught me that. Yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of people like that I've spoken to, like in in the accountants、um, space, space,、mm. they they don't talk much about that aspect、yeah. of things, and it's very relevant. I I, I believe、say. like there's no reason accountants can't delve into a market that business coach delves into.、Mm. There's no reason. You'll actually find that a lot of business coaches. Have an accounting background. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and some don't. And it's weird. And I'm like, I understand you've owned businesses before and everything, but if you don't know the deep tax stuff that affects the client, yeah, how are you advising? Yeah. So I'm like, so, I'm in a better position than you are. Yeah. Because so, knowing too much is actually a better position than no, knowing enough. Yeah, exactly. Well,、yeah. I've I've met a few、um, business coaches, and like the.、Um, 
business going to another chapter had an accountant background and project management background. Nice. So I was like, oh, like that's such a good combination because mm. he can talk about processes, he can talk about numbers, and like in, in that in that aspect, I think. So so that's really good. I think I think it's good that also when we talk, mm -hmm. I feel like we need to focus on the individual. Yeah. Because this kind of platform talks to an individual it's not going to be an audience of 200 no. it's going to be one person on his on, on a his, youtube yeah exactly watching his laptop going this guy knows me yes <laughs> i really yeah i feel, I feel <laughs> oh man all right oh my god last question okay so sure. what's a good tip for business owners or entrepreneurs who struggle with accounting and finances you know so like when i ask <laughs> When I wrote that question, are you talking about I yourself? had myself in mind. <laughs> <laughs> See, like some people like are very good with like they're so switched on when it comes to like understanding numbers. I remember having a chat with Z at one point when he first met me, and he's like, "How much are you earning? Like, mm. how much are you paying? Like, how much are you getting back from this?" And I'm like, "What are you asking?" <laughs> like, I guess um, I, I I only have one answer for that. Mm. Um, I think you need to find someone who speaks the same wavelength as you, same frequency. Yeah. And ensure that that person has the industry knowledge for it. So, mm. so like. So at the moment yeah, I'm sorry, your account. Yeah. yeah. So at the moment I'm your accountant. Yeah. But I think it's clear that we're on the same wavelength. Uh, yeah. We speak the same language. When it comes to emotions, we understand each other, mm -hmm. and that's probably one of the most effective ways to to know something more about your finances right to engage with someone an expert hopefully that mm -hmm. is able to communicate to you what the numbers mean mm, right. and i think i get that you'll find that like 80 percent of my business is just because i can communicate with my client the way they want to in such a way they understand yeah yeah, I and feel that's, like that's something that I've mm. like you know like learned having spoke and spoken to you a lot. Mm. Um, understanding that it does, it's okay to not know everything. I mean, I have friends that engage ChatGPT on <gasps> understanding certain taxes. Right. And I'm like going, but ChatGPT doesn't understand your situation. Doesn't oh, un doesn't can people actually ask for yeah, for help? My ChatGPT told me this. Is it true? You know, like, well, if you believe ChatGPT, why don't you just go with it? And they go, well, it's an AI. It's not a person. And exactly. That, and exactly. that's why you pay a, an accountant, an accountant like, like, or a lawyer or a business coach to help you with your finances and accounting. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of like understanding how AI can actually work in your favor. Correct. So for example, for, for people who are in copywriting, yeah. like that's the, cheap, the easiest like you know, like industry that could potentially be, um, what do you call this? Like wiped out. Yeah, exactly by mm. ChatGPT. But like the thing is, right? I've I've tested it, and like it can only do so much. In 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 your like, it can write in a tone of voice, a certain tone of voice, or your tone of voice. But at the same time, you still need to be able to exercise your brain to think: Is this really something that I would say, or you know? Yeah, you still gotta have that creativity. Exactly. So believe it or not, accounting has some creativity to mm. it. You know, you you still communicate the numbers to the ATO, to ASIC, mm -hmm. to you know, to the ASX. Do you ASX. fight with the ATO a lot? Because I know an accountant. I don't think fights. I can answer that. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I know that too. <laughs> I, I don't exercise. Think I... <laughs> yeah, it's not. I, I Do you think, want more? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not good if we if we go down that road. <laughs> um. Well, um, okay, okay. Let me rephrase my question. Okay. Yeah. Do you have arguments with the ATO? We have open discussions. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> we have open dis open discussions. Um. So. <laughs> You know, ATO knows everything about me, so okay. I, I say we have open discussions, and it's always the tax law is always open to interpretation. Right. And oh, so like the, a lot of the tax lawyers are more from in the ATO aspect. So you talk to tax lawyers. Um, in ATO. it depends. Okay. It just depends. Um, every every situation is different. Um, 
tax lawyers deal with different things. We deal with different things. We、mm. deal with the everyday things like small business、um, activity statement debt. We deal with、mm-hmm. you know ABN GST registration, all that stuff. We、right. deal with the everyday stuff.、Mm-hmm. Tax lawyers are probably more specialized. It's like a skin specialist rather、right. than us. We are more of a GP, you know, yeah,、okay. that kind of thing. A, a good, yeah, you know, and you can tell the difference between a good GP and a bad one. Right, right,、yeah. makes sense. So yeah.、Um, Do, can I just finish? Yeah. yeah finish off.、Um, yeah. So at Assure Alliance, we cater to a great deal of small businesses, and、uh, we do your everyday stuff from、mm. GST to income tax to you know all the registrations to keep you and your business going and help you take that next step, basically. Yeah. What makes Assure Alliance like different?、Um, Eureka and I, being directors of Assure Alliance,、um, we like to bring in a culture、mm-hmm. of being more proactive and giving you the assurance and peace of mind、mm-hmm. that your taxes, your accounts, your money is taken care of. I'd like to think that it's my vision and my goal to make accounting more sexy than it is、I、right、like、now.、Um, you know, we're not backdoor number crunchers,、mm-hmm. but we're more forward-looking. We're more about adapting. We're more about evolving. We're more about achieving your goals. That's so cute. Okay. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, no problem. I really like you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here.、Yeah. And that caps off our Tipsy Tuesday. Thank you so much for ev- if you made it to the end of this. Yeah. We all appreciate you, and I hope you, you learned so. Thanks for watching Tipsy Tuesday, guys.、Uh, we really appreciate it if you made it all the way till the end.、Um, I hope everything that you've learned was quite educational and was really, really helpful to help you, especially during this tax time. So,、um, if you have anything else that you want us to talk about or any particular profession you want us to guess, feel free to、um, comment below. And also, if you want to tune in for more, we have more episodes coming. So feel free to click that bell button.、Oh, I get to say that.、Oh, click that bell button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, fam. Bye.